Howdy cowdies, how you going? Hope you're good, not that I really care. Let me walk about some of the collector we've been busy this week. Heaps of cool stuff. Great little tin toy looping, sort of aerobatic aeroplane. It winds up and sort of does loops and stuff, really cool. Sunny Crust footy cards. Nice collection of uh, cufflinks and stuff. Uh, I think there's Playboy ones in there, an ant set, and telecom and stuff like that. And that's, we've got some nice little Victorian paper mache snuff boxes. Collection of coins, there's some nice 1940s shillings in amongst there. Cool, big retro sort of 1970s bamboo tiki bar. Little folding campaign chairs, a lovely bit of Edwardian. Portrait of that guy. Oh, Billy Shakespeare. And we've got heaps of Star Wars stuff. There you go, this is a little group lot to begin with. The keychain collectibles with some fighter pods in their boxes over the back. A little brass banker's lamp. Footy medallions. John Deere tractor. Some nice bits of the old brass extinguisher, blow torches. Star Wars gear. Some of these are cool. I think they're in the wrong boxes. Han Solo's in the loot box. You got R2 in a loot box. You got, funnily enough, Luke in a loot box. Yoda in a loot box. And Chewie in a loot box. So they're a bit unusual. What else have we got? There you go. Big box full of Star Wars figures. The Power of the Force. All mint carded. Nice box of magazines. A little Victorian toilet mirror with some nice little glass panels and some other bit. More Star Wars Power of the Force. These ones have the freeze frame action slide with them. What else have we got? Ladies bags and accessories, tools and stuff. More Star Wars Princess Leia collections. There's two figures in each boxed one. There you go, and these ones are more here. Attack of the Clones. So you can see how many are in the box. Star Wars shirts and caps. And else we've got some loose Star Wars sort of 12 inch figures and things like that. Some retro and other Australian pottery. Nice big got the two shelves. Two boxes of mixed gear. Star Wars official Starship and Vehicle Collection, all in their boxes. There you go, some Queen Armadalas, and more of them there as well. These are a couple of nice big boxes of toys, an old Lamborghini Countach remote control, and some Ponyots, Dominoes, some cool retro gear here. Glassware Crystal, and so we've got perfumes and ladies' bags and accessories. Another box of sort of mixed packaged Star Wars figures. What else have we got? Oh, hey, oh. The big Seaberg. Entertainers. Really cool thing. Big jukebox. It's not in bad condition. It lights up. It's got all the records and stuff in it. What else have we got? A couple of bikes. The little birdie. Foldable suspension ride. It's a funny one. The old Repco ladies one over the back of the ripper with a big cane basket. Boxes of china and stuff. I kind of like these two old sort of outdoor benches. More toys, Star Wars bags and stuff. Some interesting gear in here. Two boxes of tools, and these are all in old Pratt and Whitney aircraft uh, machinery boxes. They look like sort of aircraft parts or something like that. Uh, Star Wars bags, heaps of Star Wars Episode 1 action figures, two boxes there full of them. Then we've got posters, mixed with a lot of X-Files and other gear underneath there, some paintings, DVDs, big remote control van there with a sort of bat wing and a tank. Another box of Star Wars figures, Power of the Force. Pretty cool, the big X-Files sort of window displays. Scully and Mulder. We've got some wrestling shirts and packaged figures as well. Old Tonka toys. More Star Wars. Big lot of sort of tools and blokey gear in the corner. Lightsabers, Buddy L's, records. We've got some good records as well. These are all Galaxy Empire figures, which are like rip-offs of Star Wars men. Big box of bike stuff. Uh, CDs and DVDs, some good CDs, The Clash and other stuff in amongst. Star Wars gear, good lot of records. It's all sort of uh, Eric Clapton related, Yardbirds, Derek and the Dominoes, stuff like that. Star Wars towels, more Star Wars figures. These ones have got the flashback photos on them. More records, kids toys, little wind up Snoopy chefs, pretty cool. 
Uh, what else have we got? More Star Wars dudes. Records. More box Star Wars guys. These guys sort of spin around and stuff. Look out, Boba Fett. Look out. He's coming behind you. <laughs> what else? Uh, he's pretty cool. A Mobo horse. He's a ripper. It's got his little sort of foot pegs on him and stuff like that. Little wheels. Uh, train lights, more box Star Wars, some old oil sort of tins and cans, nice old books, um, radio valves, more records, jewellery and stuff, little meat pie warmer's pretty cool. And he's got these nice little gramophone cabinets, uh, Aria Diamond Guitar, it's from like 2008, pretty cool looking sort of retro thing, he's a nice big old sort of settee. The cane seat. Got some more box Star Wars guys. And some vehicles over there as well. A little lot of retro China and stuff. I got some nice paintings this way. Uh, Hall Thorpe, Piccadilly Circus. Uh, this is Dr. Robert Richards in Sydney. A nice paint, a lovely little water watercolour. Lake Ada at Milford Sound. This is a Gayfield Shore etching. Don't see much of his stuff around. <coughs> Lovely watercolour by James Swinton Diston, even though it is signed W. Shaw. It's a pseudonym for Swinton Diston. This is a nice Victor Cobb etching. Scott's Cathedral, or Scott's Church in Collins Street. And else have we got? This is a nice little Ernest Abbott etching. The old homestead. Lovely big Walter Stewart Lloyd. Uh, English watercolour and gouache. Really nice big pretty thing. Lovely bit. Uh, Hank Guth oil, pretty typical, Central Australia. Big classical still life's nice as well in the gilt frame. Some nice paintings this week. Victorian glass, more Star Wars, Rita McLean watercolours. Big Tonka Crane, big Darth Vader. Comics, records, all Roger Daltrey, sort of Who related stuff. More Star Wars, bottles, art glass. Butterfly, Spider-Man, Samovar. There's more Star Wars, Royal Worcester. Train set over the back in a box. Heaps of cufflinks and stuff. Davidson glass, good little lot of records. Grace Slick and some other similar sort of stuff. Never mind the bollocks. Big Anakin Skywalker, the mobile lube tins of rippers. There you go, the Banther and the Tuscan Raider. He's really cool. Speaking of uncool... Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Castrol tins and other stuff. What else? Star Wars skateboard. Big Star Wars lightsaber in its box there. <coughs> there you go, the big Millennium Falcon. He's good, the Tonka mobile clam crane. Good, a lot of the Who vinyl over the back. This is a really nice little microscope in here. Absolute ripper. Little the details in the back, made in London. Spirit kettle. Heaps of Jefferson Airplane records. More Star Wars, Robo Teapot, Funnikins. Nice little fire engine. Kind of like this little Chinese tin toy bus. Reminds me of like a Thunderbird thing. It's in a group lot. A little bit broken here and there. What else have we got? More Star Wars, Rancor and Luke Skywalker. Poor old Rancor. I was a bit sad when he got killed. Bandai Volksy. More Star Wars. Good box of records, China, Darth Vader's lightsaber, it's an interesting Chinese platter, hand painted ship on it there, some mint box corgis, more Star Wars micro machines they are, what else have we got, good lot of Doors records down the bottom, good lot of Led Zepp records, good lot of comics, more Star Wars, Royal Worcester, Art Glass, more Led Zepp, more Star Wars, more Rolling Stones, a lot of deco, sort of 1930s gear. Bowie. The genius of Pink Townsend. Bootleg LP. Really nice little train carriage. Little double barrel toy guns, pretty cool. What else have we got? Venetian glass. Japanese export wear. Japanese bookends. Led Zep bootleg over the back again. Staffordshire figure. Nice bit of glass. Pair of Staffordshire figures or figural vases. Big Trudy Fry Charger. Bigger Trudy Fry Charger. 
good lot of records. Is that Steph Jefferson Starship? What the hell are they doing in the end cabinet? A little check, this little check machine's pretty cool. Another nice big pair of vases. That bell makes a bloody racket. I think Wayno's going to have fun giving that a bit of a ring on Thursday night. He's nice as well, the old embossing stamp. This little guy's a bit interesting, little carved tribal figure of a dugong. It's got all the details on the base. Banu Namai Sulia Wanga. A little bit of digging around, couldn't find out much. The carving, geometric carving on the bottom is really nice. It's unusual to see a figure of a dugong, but anyway. Nice little clock, more Led Zepp vinyl, Maureen Williams art glass bowl, wind toy grater, Akadaka vinyl. Can't remember who made the big bit of glass, but it's a lovely big thing. I think it's Batty or something like that. Um, the enameled United Insurance sign's a nice thing. Mint box Corgi, some more good little toys. I like this truck, he's a ripper over the back there. And well, we've got at the top shelf, we've got a bootleg, uh, another Led Zepp bootleg LP over the back there. It's a twin album, and I think it's blue and red vinyl or something like that. English Art Deco vase is nice. Some more good little tin toys. I really like this Bandai hot rod. Really cool thing. What else? Big Reg Preston charges a ripper. The Abbott Australian filter. Lovely old enameled sign. Tin toy Japanese boat. Japanese robot and a nice little set of three German 1970s, 80s porcelain. Yep, that'll do. There's heaps of good stuff this week. It's going to be a good sale on Thursday night. We'll see you there.